Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about three different statistical functions. Average, average A and average X. Let us understand what are the differences among these three functions. Why there are three different average function? First of all, uh, this average function this is a simple average function which uh, takes the numeric column as an argument and it returns a decimal number which represent the arithmetic mean okay it's a simple average function now this is average a average a is it returns a decimal value but it handles text and non numeric values average is numeric values and average A is non-numeric and text value as well as some logical values that means the boolean values okay average X is there are two arguments for average X first is table second is expression expression means it evaluates the expression for each row of a table then take the resulting set of values and calculate its arithmetic mean. Okay, let us understand how we can uh, implement these functions. For this project, I have taken this US Superstore data. Okay, it's a simple ESV file and I have imported that file. First, I have created one um, calculated measure using this average function. It's a simple average function and it's uh, returning the cells value average cells value okay and before moving to average a first uh, i will go through this average x in average x i uh, first this table name then this cells value plus this profit value if you can observe if i'm go, going back to this average function and here if i want to pass this profit value uh, with the plus sign it will not work okay let me show you if I type plus then profit and you can observe nothing is coming okay so if I want to execute this type of expression and I need to find out the average value from from that expression I should use this average X function okay now average a so before moving to this average a function what I have done I have created one calculated field okay it, it is if clause I am using this if clause and where the cells value is greater than 100 then it will show true or false. So based on this calculated column I have created this use of average a function and it's simple it's I am using this average a and it returning the value average value for this calculated column and you can observe i'm getting the result 0 0.38 how it is coming so for this e sales value greater than 100 it has some true value it has some sales uh, false values okay so uh, when it's coming true it considers the row count as one okay so in this way how many row count we are getting as one based on that it is calculating this average value that's why it's coming 0.38 okay so from this video you understand how we can execute average function average x and average a and where we can use these functions thank you thanks for watching